Okay, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm doing better. Two days in a row. Woohoo. So, Melissa. <coughs> Welcome to my channel and my suddenly hoarse voice. I promise it's just a little froggy in the throat. Nothing else. I'm not. I don't. I don't have the corona. I promise. That was a little bit of soda just to wash the froggy down. Okay, so today, like I said, two days in a row, I'm doing good. I'm doing so much good. Hope you guys are doing great, feeling awesome, um, not stressing too much. Like I tell everybody all the time, find something you really enjoy and just, just focus on the good. Especially focus on Jesus because, come on ladies need to focus on Jesus at this time but focus on some good don't focus on all the negative okay so today I am going to be doing a flip through of my newly set up Miss Aurora Aurora Estelle in case you guys wonder how that is spelled it's I think it's E-U-R-A and then Estelle it's a brand of beautiful leather planner she does have some um vegan <laughs> leather which is you know fake leather um available too unless she sold out i have been looking at the website because i did purchase a a um larger one than this i think i i think i did i think i got a b6 size and this is an um a6 so this is smaller than a b6 so anyway and honestly not gonna lie i can't remember exactly what color I got it in but I think I got it in the gray because there was not a lot available um her website was sold out of a lot of stuff because she's got some beautiful color pinks and I would have been all over the pink even though the vendor spec that I have come in is pink I love me some pink and some lavender she even has a lavender one but they weren't available so I think it's a beautiful gray that I got it's gonna be gorgeous you'll love it this one is called sandstone and then the interior you can't see on the back of that is a rose color rose mauvey kind of color so I got it yesterday this one I purchased second hand so it was pre-loved as we like to say in the buy second hand community but of course I got a much better deal buying it that way you have to really make sure you are getting good deals because some people uh, you know that they, they saw some people selling secondhand cars they won't weigh more than what it's you know they should be selling it for depreciation don't you know okay anyway so i'm going to show you how i set it up i it's hard to find actual or hard for me to find actual affordable inserts for an a sit size so I have made a few of my own and I'm going to make more but I also just to get me started purchased um, some off of Etsy and printed them out and cut them down so this is what I did last night after my husband went to bed because you know otherwise he would be interrupting me every five seconds wanting something so into the wee hours of the morning I was playing with her and she's so pretty She's so pretty. Okay, anyway, here we go. So, open up my big... Yeah, I've got her nice and chunky right now. You know, who doesn't love a chunky planner? So, open it up. It's like a pop-up book. Whoosh! So, starting off, I just have me a little mild liner in there so you can do your little underlining stuff. But she sent me a few inserts and things that went with it, that came with it, excuse me. She sent me this cute little heart paper clip right there the little girl and that this is some of my stuff that i just added um most of this came from uh, i think these little clips come from hobby lobby i've got a couple of different sets of them and i'm just i'm trying to stick with that pretty little mauvey pink theme and not get too you know off from that so i've got that and then this is from simply gilded I'm sure you guys recognize that and then this was a sticker i put on there and then that actually came with this little planner so i decided to stick her down in there but these are little pockets that you know you can store all kinds of cute little groovy things in oh she's stuck get in there lady put your foot down i have to cut that part off 
Whoopsies, there she goes. Okay, see, it looks like she has a bow on her hat. Yeah, that's cute. Anyway, I just love the lace design on that. And so that goes in that pocket. I didn't show you how many different pockets. This has a lot of pockets in it. And then in here is just usable stuff. I've been making tabs and everything for my divider. So this is, the tabs are from Carpe Diem. This is from Happy Planner. This is from the 1407 planners. It's just a little notebook. Just, you know, for notes, that kind of thing. And so you have another pocket and another pocket. So you have lots of pockets in this little thing. And because of the fact that it is very pliable leather, it makes it very easy to put stuff in there. This is the only thing I have in one of the um, actual TN strings. I put this in there again just for pop it out for little notes. This is an A5 Webster's <laughs> thing and I just cut it down. It's a vellum and I just cut it down to fit in here. I printed this one off. I didn't get the exact sizing correct but I made this on my Canva and printed that off for me. My name. First I drink the coffee then I do the things. Yeah, yeah. Read your Bible, drink your coffee. Another little thing that I just printed off. I think this came from Webster's Pages and I just put my name on it. And then this came with the planner. So it's one of the polyurethane, I think is what they're, dividers. And she had put pockets on them. So I've got little things stuck in the pockets and I put the little sticker on there. Live more, worry less. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. And then I made this 2020 Planner Attic. That would be your girl right here. And this I made just kind of, it looks like a, if you're familiar with cloth and paper and their line of products, it looks like they're some of their inserts. I really love the look of their inserts. They're very, very pretty. So I just made that last night. This is one of the little um, folders that come came with the planner and I just put stickers on it. Got to pretty things up a little bit. And then again, just a little thing I cut down and put in there. Okay, and this is my May divider. So for this month, I have set up. Now this is the only thing, I when I print out um, my printables for these, I don't do them double-sided. Huh, someone just went walking down the road. Doesn't look they should be here. Okay, I don't do them double-sided. I just do them on one side. So this is my month of May. So I'll just, I'm planning on using um, the blank size for notes if I need them. So I didn't put any actual note paper in here because I can use that. But this is one of the, now this is a monthly divider that I made myself from Canva. So not the prettiest the way I write, but it works for me. So I just have my little appointments on the 8th. My stepdaughter and her husband are, they're scheduled to have, um, to be induced for their first baby, our first grandbaby. So we are pretty stoked about that. I have a doctor's appointment on the 6th. Uh, the 9th is my youngest daughter's birthday. My husband's birthday is on the 29th. Uh, my father-in-law's birthday is also in May. And so is their anniversary. And my sister-in-law's birthday is in May. So... We normally get together and have a big, huge, you know, family celebration. But this year, of course, it's going to be a little bit different. We live here in Oregon. My sister and brother-in-law live in, in Washington State. And yeah, we're kind of still just doing the little isolating things. We will get together with my my um, mother and father-in-law, though, because they just live right next door. And I do all their grocery shopping stuff right now anyway. So we're already exposed. And this is one of the... Um, weekly planner things that I printed out. I got it off Etsy and I like this one. I tried a couple of different ones. I like this one the best for this size because it is a smaller size. If you, I like the way this is Monday this week and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You see how it's like this. I like that because it gives me more room to do things with. So the first is on Friday, which is just, it's payday. So pay some bills and maybe do some grocery shopping. We'll see. Definitely get some coffee <laughs> for that. And then this is, and I didn't cut these. It took me a minute to figure out in my brain how to cut these properly. 
But anyway, this is the weekend. Nothing much planned there. Um, these are just a lot of Happy Planner stickers I'm putting in there to give me more places to write, make usable. So this is basically the first week. This is really where the week starts is on Monday. Uh, like I said, Wednesday, doctor's appointment. And I'm using mostly my Happy Planner um, sticker books for this. But this is some Simply Gilded washi tape that I put on there. And then, again, for notes, this is when little Miss Kaya is going to be our grandbaby's name. This is her induction day. We shall see if she's actually born on that day. But still, and then my daughter Carly's birthday. So Kylie is my stepdaughter. Um, Kaya is going to be our new grandbaby's name. And then we got Carly and they all are with a K. So it's kind of cute, kind of cute. So that is as far as I have planned out. But so what I went ahead and did is I put in enough for the weeks for the entire month of May. And then I went in and made these. Actually, this is out of one of, um, oh gosh, I think this was from Hobby Lobby, one of their uh, scrapbook books. And I just cut a lot of them down, put the tabs on them. So that will be for June. And then I've already got the month written out anyway. July. Month written out on that one as well. August month written out and I will put weeklies in there as I need them and then this is just some extras that I had stick in there little note cards I made this one off my canva just thought it was really cute here is one that I got also off of Etsy and this one is from the organized student it says .tumblr.com. I thought I got it off Etsy. Maybe I didn't. But anyway, for monthly budgeting, children are outside playing, so my dogs think they need to guard the house. Okay, so. And then this is actually, and they're cut really weird. I cut them wrong, but it is some dailies personal size from Carpe Diem. So I just had to trim some of the bottom off and then recut the, the hole punches, redo those. But just to make notes with and let's see this is some of the um weekly things i was playing with but it's, it's an okay size it's bigger than you know a pocket size but still not i like the other format better because it still gives me more room to write and to plan but I tried that one. I also, there was another one I was trying. That's more monthly pages. I've got so much stuff that I have purchased off of Etsy in a file that I just have to go through it basically and see what I actually have. Okay, and so this is just little pretty setups. I made that one. And this is the weekly that actually came with the planner. So that's pretty neat too. So. I may just use this next time, even though it doesn't give me quite as much writing space. It's still very, very cute. I do like it. So I'm definitely going to use it. So we have that. And then another one of this with a pocket. Another little anytime is tea time thing I made. And then this is a daily one that came with it. And this was actually already in a book. It was done in a tea in book. And I just... Uh, took the staples out and trimmed it and hole punched it and put it in here like that because I prefer that so there is that goals eh, you know <laughs> buy more planners that's my goals <laughs> another little pocket that came with it and this would be for family tree I've never really stuck that in a planner but that's an idea that's an idea but it also has a pocket and she had put that in there and I stuck that in there just to make it cute and then she sent this and this with the planner this is mine and that is mine in here you see you have another secretarial pocket another pocket there and yet another pocket so tons of pockets guys in these planners I love it and more strings as well to use as you 
do like. So this, I just, it's just some little stickers from uh, Carpe Diem. And these are the little face stickers that I might use to stick throughout it. And it's small enough, it would actually work well with that. And then this is just one of my little Kiki Kane notepads. If I want to grab, you know, it out and use it, I will do that. And so, it's like I said, the leather is very pliable, so very easy to do things with and stick things in there. Uh, simply gilded pen that I may or may not, I actually think I'm going to use this one uh, in my Vanderspec when I get it because that's more the color of the Vanderspec that I order. It's more of a ballerina, baby pink. And I cannot wait to see it. But the gray and pink is just my one of my favorite color combinations. I would have liked this better. Of course, this was secondhand, so I didn't pick the colors. But if this was like a gray, a soft gray with the pink, that would have been perfect but I don't know if you can see it or not um, if the lighting's not the best right now but the gray in there is the color gray that the other um, Aurora Estelle that I ordered is going to be and I'm not sure how long it's going to take them to get here I do know the vendor spec will probably not be here till June um, because it's custom ordered custom made so it'll take it a bit and it's coming from the Netherlands but I'm not sure how long it will take this to come, the one that I ordered like this from their website. We shall see. But anyway, there she is. Makes my heart happy, guys. I just, I don't know why I love this stuff. But ever since I was a kid, you know, most kids would go straight to the toy section. I would go straight toward the stationary section. Anything office supply, pens, notebooks, paper, you name it. And I love it. And the planners are at the heart of all of that. That is, this is just the, like I said, makes my heart happy. And one thing I was going to show you guys that I have shown you before, but a new viewer had asked if I have had one and if I had videos on it, which I do, but I couldn't tell her exact one. So I am going to show this again. She wanted to know if I had any pocket size. So this is the pocket size that I have and that I use. I do have a couple more, one from Michaels. And then let me show you this really quick. I did want to show you guys this. I ordered this off of Etsy, just uh, not Etsy, excuse me, off of Amazon, just because I wanted to test the quality of it. It is a pocket size and they have these in standard as well. And they're real leather. It says they're genuine leather. And I do believe it is. It's just not really supple, soft leather. But the design on it is really, really pretty. And they have a couple of more other designs for you to uh, choose from. This one I loved because of the muted taupes and pinks. As a matter of fact, look at it. It goes like almost perfect with that. It really does. And I ordered this before I even saw that. So this, I mean, it's really pretty on the inside. You can, like I said, you can tell it's leather. It may have some vinyl sewn in it, kind of like bonded leather. I'm not sure. But it has four bands and it comes with two notebooks. These two like this i put the other ones in there just seeing how they fit um and then it also has a pocket back here and then a pin loop and the strings are really nice they're good quality strings it feels really nice in your hand and you know i'm sure as you know you play with it and use it it would definitely become softer but the price of it it's like it was like seven dollars on Amazon so I mean definitely stuff like this guys is an investment I don't have a life so this is all I spend my money on <laughs> this is this and Bibles this is it this is what I buy on handbags I mean I do that too so yeah but anyway this is <laughs> we don't travel much or anything like that because of the way my husband works so this is what I do so, but it's an investment. It really is. My daughter asked me the other day, <laughs> my youngest, she was like, when I die, who gets, um, who, who's going to get the most inheritance? I'm like, whoever can get in here and sell off my planners the fastest because that's your inheritance right there. <laughs> she was like, 
Oh. <laughs> And I'm like, don't knock it. There's a lot of money wrapped up in these planners. <laughs> so anyway, if you don't want to spend that kind of money, and I totally get it if you don't. I'm sh Believe me, my husband wishes that I did not. But this is definitely a beautiful option. I love this. This I'm, Like I said, you can tell it's definitely substantial. And they do have the larger size too. So if this one's too small for you and you want a larger size, there you go definitely look into it just go to amazon and type in traveler's notebooks and these pop up so that is a very good option but this is the one that i use and then i um put in my handbag when i carry a handbag that's big enough to plop it in and i won't take something with me and this is by that company right there so that's all you really have to put in it and put planners in and it's the sister company to the uh 1407 planners so the ones with the little pink ones so this is a 1407 and this is the it's a it's a tula i think is what they call them t-u-l-a yeah tula and like i said it's perfect it's exactly like these got a couple of these large ones because this was a gift and then I purchased another one just because I became obsessed with them as well because I liked it so much but the setup is exactly the same you've got pocket 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 and the same is this uh, case with this and then they also have this is the pocket size but they also have a b sit size in this which I seriously consider just <laughs> going back and getting because I was so in love it. I put the little thingy things all over it and I probably shouldn't have done that because now they're going everywhere. When they're in their, my purse they slide around. But I just thought it was pretty. But I love these colors. This blue purplish mauve pink. It, all of it. And so this is what I have. That was a to-do list. This is an extra little pocket that came from Simply Gilded that I'm not sure what I'm going to stick on. I do have some more stuff coming that's going to be an unboxing. Um, I ordered another, a couple of new Erin Condren's. I, they, I have three of her on the go folios, uh, but they just come out with a brand new one that's lavender. And so, hello, I had to get it. And I did. And I ordered it. And I ordered some of the inserts. So as soon as that gets here, I am going to unbox that. And I may put this little pocket on it. Even though this is really, this is really only good for a, you know, pocket size. Maybe even that. Add another little pocket to it. That actually looks good. That matches. It's perfect color. So we may just put it on there. So I'll stick that right there. Hello. And then I have some little stickers. From the Planner Society. Isn't that pretty? I love those. So I've got those in there to stick. And then I've got a few more in here too. I can't remember if they're from the Planner Society. Yeah, I think that's from Planner Society too. So is all this pretty acetate. Um, just got some little fill note notebooks in there. Another notebook, more acetate. And vellum, pretty little vellum. And then this is the actual weekly planner. So we are going, this will be May. So I need to kind of deck it out a little bit because we're almost there, guys. What is today? The day is the 27th, 28th. Today is the 28th. So yeah, we're almost done. Almost there. I wish I could find a little, um, insert set like this for my my new one my new a6 size but so i have that i also see this is from uh, lime life planner and it's more weekly stuff to put in there so i've got lots of weeklies and then just more notebook notebooks with more more vellum Another notebook in there that matches this vellum. And then I just got little cute thingies. Stuff there. All of it. This pen. I've shown you this before. But it just matched. Jojo. 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 He has to have the last word. Jojo. Okay. 
<laughs> so anyway. Uh, all right. So this is, it just, this came from Target. And look, it just matches this perfect. I'm like, the colors are just completely on point. On point. From the lavenders to the blue, a pink, everything. It's just, it's like it was made for this particular little planner. And I love it. Love it, love it. So anyway, that is the one in my pocket that I use. And I hope that, oops, I've, I've lost a, a charm. I have to redo my charms. Oh no, it fell off that. I'm not surprised though. I keep this in my purse. So honestly, I really probably shouldn't have, should have any of this on there. Just because it leaves it bouncing around. And I just, I love these little charms. This little teapot was came from Michael's. And... But I think this one came from Joann's. So I'm going to have to get out my little pliers and fix my little charm. You know what? May have to find a way to see if I can get it on here somehow. I have to check that out. I'll be working. I'm going to be working the rest of the day. All right, guys. There you go. There's the little planner thingy I wanted to share with you today. Once again, I love this. Love it so much I'm everybody always makes fun of me because I pet my leather doesn't matter if it's a handbag or if it's a planner if it's nice and soft I pet it <laughs> all right guys I will see you on the next video have a wonderful time love you so much enjoy your week one way or another all right guys thank you see you later bye